A group of Seattle high school students all fired up about their physics class today. The students at Roosevelt High School put their learning to the test by trying out their gravity-powered siege machi machines. There was plenty of planning that had to be done before today's events. Students made computer models and simulations before actually building the machines. Uh, most kids are seniors. They've been sitting in, uh, in classrooms for 12 years now. And uh, I'm trying to find a little joy in learning here. The teams held contests throughout the day. They were judged on distance and accuracy. Pretty cool stuff. One, two, three, fire! Okay, it doesn't get a lot better than that. Catapulting stuff as far as you can in order to get a good grade in school. Today, Roosevelt High School physics students fired their siege engines to see how far they could get a tennis ball to fly. The goal was to get it beyond 100 yards, which most did with room to spare. Paul Sports all about velocity firsthand. They built 15-foot-high trebuchets. Some call them trebuchets. Anyway, it's a medieval weapon that hurled rocks against castle walls. Or, in 2004, you can hurl tennis balls on a football field to see whose goes the farthest. Physics teacher Eric Muzz came up with this high-flying lesson. Physics can be fun.